Hello and welcome to Globalise Weekly Wrap of the main business and economic stories making the global headlines. As always, joining me is our Senior Wealth Manager, Simon Pup, to discuss the issues. Simon, thank you for joining us. Good day, Tony. Let's start with US job numbers. Disappointing. Um, certainly disappointing if you look at where the expectation was. Um, the forecast was for jobs growth, non-farm payrolls of 180,000. The number came in at 98,000. So in that context, yeah, disappointing. And it seems that certain sectors like retail and, and construction were particularly hit. The numbers look very negative um, in those particular sectors. But I think it's worth, and, and a lot of the commentators have taken a step back from this, um, to put it in the wider context, that in the first place, um, some of these numbers were impacted by the severe weather that um, parts of the United States experienced in the last month or so, um, particularly storms in the Northeast. So that would hit construction where projects were put on hold, retail, basically people just didn't go out shopping as much. Um, and if you look at um, you know, the average of, of jobs growth over the last few months, then it's not that far of, of where we have been in terms of a longer term trend. So in that isolation, numbers look a little disappointing, but in a wider context, manageable. And it's quite noticeable that the markets haven't panicked, remained stable, and moved on in their stride. So no, no alarm bells uh, starting ringing on the, uh, on the economic situation in the US? Certainly not in, in the one or two trading sessions that we've had mm. since. OK, well, let's turn to the price of oil. Uh, Brent crew trading around $55 a barrel. Mm -hmm. uh, any reason for the surge in the oil price? Um, certainly a spike um, in the oil price on Friday. Brent, as you say, up to 55. West Texas at around 53. Um, yeah, it's very much attributable to the um, geopolitical developments at the end of last week with the um, US-led um, missile attack on the Syrian airbase. Um, it's the nature of the beast. You get geopolitical tension in the Middle East, the oil price moves up. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really um, difficult to attribute that to anything else but that development. It um, doesn't have any comment or uh, any uh, suggestion about the supply and demand dynamics, which have been the main driver of the oil price. It's really this geopolitical situation. OK, talking about geopolitical situations, I mean, um, <clears throat> when the markets open on Monday, how do we see the price of gold? Well, gold um, is another commodity that hasn't really moved too much in the last few weeks, shall we say, it's been hovering around this um, 1250 level for, for quite some time. One would normally expect, you know, in terms of the macro background that we have with um, strong dollar, with uh, tightening of monetary policy in the United States, you would expect gold to weaken. That is what we normally see in, in, in terms of the behavior of, of the gold price. But counterbalancing that, you have this unpredictability around, obviously, with um, um, a president of the United States who can be characterized as impulsive and unpredictable. Um, and then with the geopolitical things that are going on in Syria and now the story of um, US warships being deployed um, towards um, the seas off North Korea, um, you would expect that to be supportive of the gold price when you have these kind of uncertainties. And gold is one um, asset type that, that does benefit. So we've got, as it were, um, counter-pulling um, forces at the moment with the, the economic environment, which would weaken the gold price, to geopolitical tension, which would increase the oil price, gold price. Um, so that's why we're probably hovering around this 1250 level for the time being. So, so if we're an investor this week going forward, do we expect to see volatility not only uh, in the gold price, but in uh, commodity prices and stock, uh, stock markets this week? It's quite possible. Um, markets will need to digest what's happened over the weekend, um, you know, fallout between the United States and Russia over the Syrian um, um, incidents, um, as I say, with these warships. Um, it's quite reasonable to expect some volatility in the times ahead. Simon, as ever, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, thank you.